All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the elders. Today, the lesson we're going to get into is proving that America is Babylon the Great, according to the Bible, man. And there's prophecies and revelations in Jeremiah about, you know, America and, and uh, Babylon in the last days. And if you go throughout the scriptures, you'll see that the only country and the only nation here today on the earth that matches that, that description is America. So that's what we're going to get into today. And, you know, we can start off. This is Revelations chapter 17, verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, mm -hmm. which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great or that sit upon many waters. Yeah, that's right, man, because uh, John was having this vision in Revelations, and in Revelations he kept on having these visions after visions after visions. And the angel told him he was going to show him the judgment of the great whore, uh, this, this great nation that was supposed to be on the earth in the last days, man. So that, that lets you know that it can't be talking about ancient Babylon. It can't be talking about ancient Babel. And it sure as hell can't be talking about Rome because John was living in Rome during the time that this was being written. Go ahead. With whom the kings of earth had committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Right, that's right. So I looked up the word Behind the word fornication, it says the kings of the earth committed fornication with her. And I looked up the word behind that, and in the Strong's and the Strong C, uh, Strong's G, which is the Greek, it goes back to the word porn, pornuo, and it's a metaphor. It means to be given into idolatry or to worship idols, to permit oneself to be drawn away by another unto idols. So basically, it's talking about how the kings of the earth. All the nations, all the rulers of the nations, they follow after the ways of Babylon, man. They follow after, after the ways of idolatry. They, they all want to follow after the American dream, democracy, the mark of the beast, all that bullshit, homosexuality. They all want to follow what America has to say, man. And that's why it says the kings of the earth commit a fornication with her, man. What happens in the law when somebody commits a for fornication? They're supposed to be put to death. That's right. Yeah, keep going. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. That's right. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored heart, a scarlet colored beast. Right. Full of names of blasphemy. That's right. Having seven heads and ten horns. Right. That's talking about America because America, they, they describe America as a woman. They always say she. They always say, oh, America, she is great or they describe it as a her. And, it, and if you go in, into that chapter a little bit deeper, it talks about how this woman was clothed with scarlet and purple. So back in the days, if a woman wore that type of clothing, that means she was rich and prosperous. She had a lot of money. She had a lot of goods. You feel me? So that's, that's describing America as a prosperous nation. And the beast that it's talking about is it's really talking about the, the system of the world. America's always been on top. It's been over these European these European nations. You know, NATO goes by NATO goes by America. The U E the, the EU have to go by what America says. So that's why it says that it sits upon the beast. Keep going. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, mm -hmm. and decked with gold. That's right. And precious stone and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her of her fornication that's right um the word cup in 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 the greek there it goes back to a word uh called poterion and it's it's talking about somebody's lot or experience the lot that the lord puts you in is the cup that he have you to drink you know that whatever it is that you that you go through or whatever it is that you that you um that you practice that's your cup and it says that that cup was filled with all the filthy and abominations of the earth, man. America is 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 experienced in in wickedness, man. Since the, since the inception of America, it's experienced in, in wickedness, it's experienced experience in filthiness and in abomination, man. This place is filthy, man. You got fag faggots walking around. You got adulterers. You got idols everywhere, man. 
you even got Semiramis in, in, in New York, man. They call it the Statue of Liberty, man. And that's a Babylonian idol. So how the fuck you gonna tell me America is not Babylon? Where the fuck you got that from, man? Keep on. And upon her forehead was a name written, mm -hmm. Mystery, Babylon the Great. That's right. The mother of four, the mother of heart, lots and abominations of the earth. Right, right there, Babylon is described as a mystery, man, because when, <clears throat> when John was receiving this, he had, it had not been revealed unto him at that time who Babylon or what Babylon was, what nation it was, man. So it can't be talking about the Roman Empire. It can't be talking about any of the pre previous na nations because it's described as a mystery, man. And it says the mother of all the harlots of the earth, man. A harlot in that, the word behind that goes back to an idolater or a fornicator, man. And this place is full of idol worshipers, man. They want to worship their, their favorite sports team. They want to worship their politicians. They want to worship money. They want to worship their feminism. They want to worship all that shit except for the Lord, man. They want to go after everything except for the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. That's right. Go ahead. This is Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. That's right. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Right. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, no. saith the Lord. That's crazy, man. This is Revelations 17 and 15, right? And 15. And he said unto me, mm -hmm. The waters which thou saw, sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. That's right and shall make her desolate and naked. That's right, stop. So that's, right there it's talking about how America's a melting pot, because John, he didn't, he didn't 